Ah, uh, yeah. How good. The lights are on. Come with me. March the 28th. The day in the life of running a fish store. They weren't the only lights left on overnight. These were left on. But then all of a sudden, they flicked off. Something tells me something's not quite right with the timer. And about five minutes later, they flicked back on again. Dun, dun, dun. Need to get that sorted today. I'll get that sorted today. Here's a quick reminder for you. Tomorrow we speak to Dr. Baslier at AM live on both YouTube and Facebook. I would highly encourage you to watch it. If you're watching this video after the fact, there will be a replay available on YouTube as well. After all the water changes yesterday, these tanks are looking absolutely gorgeous. About as gorgeous as this Bolivian ram. He's finished sulking after yesterday and he is looking in absolute fine form. Do you know what else is fine form? Me cranking along to Madonna. How good. Let's get the show on the road. Spawned off, hatched out, got ready to feed out some baby brine shrimp. We'll be doing the rounds with the brine shrimp this morning, trying to prep up our breeders again. And we'll be feeding out to Mr. Peabody. Hopefully he gets a good fill and he begins to plump up a little bit more. But how good is this hatch? Side note. We can now sell these eggs on the website. How good. Happy days. That'll make people happy. Had I kept a nice wee concentrate of the baby brown shrimp for Mr. Peabody and the other puffers. So I'll sporadically throughout the day feed them that. Pour a little bit too much in there to start with. But that's okay. They'll be fine. And walking past after feeding the brown shrimp. And these black emperor tetras look absolutely phenomenal. I cannot underestimate understate underestimate understate how beautiful these fish are they are so nice so i'm definitely going to have to keep some of them for myself i reckon the monstera is doing its monstera things it's feeling like a rainforest in here which is exactly what i wanted to do what's not feeling like a rainforest and not doing what it's meant to do is these bleeding heart platies unfortunately we're having a bit of a rough time with them at the moment they haven't transitioned to this aquarium very well the water perimeters look pretty good, so I don't think it is that. I think there is something else going on with them. They're all sunken fin, clamp fins, and just not having a good time. So we've started off a bit of treatment with a big pile of salt, three tablespoons, over 60 litres of aquarium water. We'll start with that one and see how we go. And unfortunately overnight we basically lost the best part of our dwarf neon rainbow fish breeding colony. They were good to go yesterday, they weren't good to go this morning, so something has happened to them, unfortunately. Left the shop this morning to get a couple of some pieces. This right here is going to be beginning to increase our production quality. You might be able to hear it right now. And that's a really bit of poor editing, but it was time to get rid of some of this black bed algae. So I got my handy dandy toothbrush out. Mama said the alligator's angry because he's got all them tooth and he ain't got no toothbrush. Well, I tells you what, I've got several toothbrushes in the shop and they're pretty good for getting rid of black bed algae. I did have to get to this slightly large one onto this one because the small one didn't quite do the job. But at the end of the day, scrubbing it off with the toothbrush or the bristled brush worked as it was meant to do. And I think we've got to be getting pretty close to doing a water change in here now. Um maybe next week i keep saying that it's pushing my own personal limits but we'll see how we go the afternoon was basically set for admin which i really did not like it's not a good time in the financial year i cannot be bothered with that and if you can read my lips here you will absolutely understand what i'm saying yep if this is and i didn't sign up for this Ugh, i hate the end of the financial year running business sucks sometimes here is another good look at some t-bars because they are looking gorgeous after their water change. And if we look down there, we can see the absolutely beautiful fry that are coming through. I'm not going to take these guys out until they get a little bit bigger. I've got some other big ones uh, growing out at the moment. And all day long I've thought that these green quarries that aren't green quarries, the green brocides, I think is what they're pronounced, have been spawning. I thought they were going to trigger it. I was going to trigger it today after the big water changes. And some good food, but they just haven't given up the goods yet. Hopefully they're going to be soon. And I reckon these red Kai guppies are getting pretty close to bringing to the shop as well. So I might be harvesting a few of them out and put them onto the website over the next few days as well. Have a good one team. Happy fish keeping.